Water One today is definitely one for the books. I'm joined not only by award-winning artists, but I'm also joined by artists who are doing things on the global map. Joining me now is a multi... I want to get into... I didn't want to give away the 20 million views yet because I felt like yeah. it was too soon. Yeah. But S Villa, welcome to Watagwan. Thank you so and much. And the Thank motherland, you so much. welcome to Namibia. Thank you so much for having me. How, how are you feeling being in uh, the land of the brave? I'm loving it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm loving it. L let's talk about S Villa and yeah. how you started. I want to get into your dreams, how you get from pen to paper into yeah. the studio. <laughs> how does the entire music thing come together for you? Um, see, for me, I've been doing it for so long that it comes naturally now. Um, I can knock off three to five songs a day. Wow. Easy. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> I mean, it explains it because you, you have created songs that have gone platinum. I'm talking about yeah. Tula, I'm talking about Jehovah, which has also yeah. recently hit 20 million, soon to go to 30, I'm assuming. How do you stay? Abandu by MT featuring S. Villain, Sneeman, Smash. All of them are big hits. How yeah. do you stay afloat in the music industry? Um, you have to adapt. You know, work with other artists, work with new artists, and you know, yeah. And all of that. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. You, you also come from a musical family, you know, you have yeah, a musical yeah. background. Would yeah. you say that your love for music also came from this, or was it just something that you felt, hey, I love singing, so why not <laughs> get into it as a career? Yeah, I started singing from a very early age. I remember when I was a little kid, they would make me sing, <laughs> like in front of the family. I didn't understand it at the time, but yeah. you know, as I grew up, I go to you know, like to, to, to develop the voice mm -hmm. and get to understand. We'll say, oh shit, this is actually something that I can do. So, yeah. Yeah, you know. I, I, you know, I've listened to your music. I took a sneak peek. I've been loving your music, by the way. Is yeah. it gospel or is it just I'm a piano? Because I know that uh, you, you give out very positive messages and a lot of yeah. people can yeah. relate to the messages that you give out with your music. Yeah. Um, I infuse a lot of uh, genres because I was exposed to a lot of music from a young age. Guaito, gospel, reggae hip-hop um, because of my older brother um, and and so I try to infuse all those elements still maintaining this the the, the, the S Villa you know uh, feel to it which is your soulful spiritual kind of vibe yeah. yeah so you would say I'm going to get into it that your brother is one of those people who has actually inspired you musically yes of course yes he did <laughs> yes he did that's wonderful well yeah. you are on a road tour uh, yeah. for your 20 million views yeah. what is up with you in Namibia what can we look forward to where are we gonna see to see you perform and where to from here yeah um so Friday they can catch me at the loft and then uh, on Saturday we are at infinity and steakhouse yeah, that's where they can catch us. Um, I was invited by friends, man. They were like, people are loving you out here in Namibia. Pull up, see your friends, dog. Wonderful. You know, so that's why I'm out here, just having fun, enjoying the, the atmosphere. Namibia is like, you know, the the sister country to SA. It's, it mm -hmm. feels like I'm at home, literally, yeah. you know? and the people are really nice, eh? Oh my God. All the time, all the time. <laughs> well, you are in Namibia, you have basically joined our musical booth. Yeah. Who are some of the Namibian artists that you love to listen to or that you are familiar with musically? Yeah, shout out to Waters. That that, that performance was leading. Mm -hmm. um, there's guys like Gaza. I've known Gaza since DJ Cleo days. Yeah. And those are days. Um, is a kid as as Mo as Mo's dope Azaria she's dope, um, Yiza Yiza's crazy, so those are the people that are in my radar you know mm -hmm. yeah and a few guys Chucky the DJ Chucky is crazy. <laughs> Yeah. I need to hear it. Namibian Shout collaborations that we can be looking forward to with S Villa featuring a Namibian artist. Those are the artists that I said. Ooh. Yeah. So you are already busy with those records. Um, we've been trying to get, get in contact with them. But I'm gonna be here for another week or so. Uh, mm -hmm. so we can kick it. Whoever is, is keen to, to work with me. To work with I'm you. still out here, you know, you can rock. To doing it. Yeah. I need some advice from a musical artist mm -hmm. who has basically, you know, earned his place in the music industry. Yeah, yeah. How would you say or what would you say it takes to stay relevant in the music industry um like i said you know you have to be willing to to adapt to change um be willing to collaborate with other artists because that's how you stay afloat um i don't know if that's the right word yeah that's how you stay relevant um yeah pretty much that you know and some of the ugly what are those things about the music industry that they don't really tell you about that you need yeah. to be prepared for um Signing to a wrong record label. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's Thank one. you. Uh -huh. Signing to a wrong management team, you know, and having people that really don't see the vision. Um, for for example, in my case, ne, 
I'm featured on, on an album by Morgan Heritage, three-time Grammy award-winning reggae group from, from Jamaica. I initiated all of that on my own. My yeah. record label had nothing to do with that. And so, <laughs> you know what, let me keep going. <laughs> you know what, you actually owe me a radio interview because uh -huh. you don't want to say too much, so maybe it'll be better when you're not on Please. screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's so much that I want to talk about because kids need to know um, a lot about this industry that we are in. It's deep. You know, um, yeah, it's crazy. Mm. It's crazy, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, Esvila, thank you for coming to Namibia and choosing Namibia. Thank you so much. I look forward to having you back, mm -hmm. hopefully with, uh, you know, with the Namibian artist joining you on the seat yeah. because collaborations are coming forth and so forth. Of course, of course. Shout out to you and your team and, and have fun, have fun. Make the most of it. Yeah. Have you been to Kapana? You have not been to Kapana? No, not yet. I need to take you to Kapana. Oh, yeah? You know, in SA, they call it the Shishanyama. Oh, yes, we have been. We yeah. have been. Yeah, Kapana at single quarters. Oh, my God. It's that crazy. That is our yeah, Namibian sleep. delicacy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. We had some Kapana the other day. Amazing. Sleep. Well, you're going to be performing. I don't want to yeah. take too much of your time, so I'm going to get you on the stage right now. Yeah. In so the much. meantime, I'm going to bring you a music video that is a Call Me by Swazis while SV like gears up for his performance. Stick around. <laughs>
Baby, my Feel like I want to do So let's be 